welcome to Laura's World. I'm Laura and nine years ago today, yesterday, my husband and I got married. Woo! Not to be confused with the fact that we actually met over 20 years ago. Well, damn. But yeah, we did the, uh, the only thing any reasonable uh, broke couple <laughs> would do to celebrate their anniversary, we went to Taco Bell. My stomach is paying for that decision right now. Totally worth it. Well, I've already washed my face with the anti-blemish cleanser by Truly. And then I followed that with some fourth ray watermelon and facial scrub. It's a nice uh, physical exfoliant. Makes the skin actually feel pretty good. Um, and I have not one, but two additions to the family lineup on this side. And then two more down here. I... Okay. I don't know what else to do. I, I've never had this many zits in my life at one time. Is this like the new puberty or something? <laughs> so yeah, nine years. Well, at least being married, we've been together much longer than that. As I said, we met 20 years ago. But yeah, I think it's a good thing that we didn't decide to go to Disney like we normally do. I mean, number one, there's no money. <laughs> I was going to say it's all in this room, but... Um, but mostly because, oh, there's poor people in Florida with the, the hurricane, was it, uh, N Nicole, was it what it's called? I'm, if I sound ignorant, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I feel really bad for all the Floridians and all the people in transit and everything that's going on. Disney reportedly shut down, but they're reopening tomorrow, and I hope everyone is okay and makes it out safe, you know, and it just kind of skips over. Sometimes these things skip out, you know. And before I forget, the name of the girl, the beautiful girl I was talking about with the red curly hair and the freckles that is just pounded day in and day out in our comment section for people, like fat phobic people, um, Sierra Ann. Look her up. She's fantastic. And the more I look at her stuff and I looked at her, I took a peep at her account too. I hope she's bringing in money. I hope she's making bank on all this shit because even the terrible comments count as interaction, you know? I hear a lot of people saying, oh sure, give me a thumbs down and leave me hate. I still get the same interaction. So good, good. I hope all these idiots realize that they're actually paying her. <laughs> and with that, now I don't know how well I'm displaying it, but I am using one of my big giant poofy scrunchies from the Love Willow haul that I did a uh, month and a half-ish ago. I love all the scrunchies. The The woman that runs it is a sweetheart. She's on Insta- not, is, is she on Instagram? I don't know, but I found her on TikTok. Yeah, I gotta look up her information. I'll try to remember to link it in the bottom again for her shop. She has her own little website. Makes a lot of things. Scrunchies, earrings, accessories. I got a bunch of scarves or bandanas for Maisie. Awesome. We're going to do things a little bit different, but the same in a way, you'll say. I'm going to start off with the Fragrance Du Jour. I got this mini discovery set by Toka. And it comes with a variety of scent samples. How many do we have here? Nine. And the scents are as named. Let's see. Florence, which is bergamot, bergamot, pear, and gardenia. Stella, which is blood orange, freesia, and spicy lily. Julieta is pink tulips, green apple, and vanilla orchid. Ooh. Maya, wild iris, black currant, and petruli heart. Gia, pink peppercorn, tangerine, and Turkish rose. Simone, watermelon, frangipani, and yang yang. Am I I think I'm saying that wrong. Colette is bergamot, sandalwood, and pink peppercorn, and Cleopatra is grapefruit, jasmine, and vanilla musk. You know what? I'm gonna try Julieta. The pink tulips, green apple, and vanilla orchid. Because I like apple. Mostly red apple. I love the Macintosh scented candle from Yankee Candle. It's one of my all-time favorites. And I save them for this time of year, which reminds me, I can finally start burning it. Yeah, I'm that kind of weird. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna try the Julieta. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, ooh. That is nice. It's a little warmer than I was expecting it to be. Excuse me. You know, warm isn't my go-to necessarily, but this is enchanting. I It's like strong scent of flowers. Like a bouquet. I smell the flowers. That's probably where the tulip comes from. This is tulip, right? Pink tulips, green apple, vanilla orchid. Okay, yeah. I'm definitely getting tulips and a little bit of apple. Not too much apple. Not too much vanilla either. I'm not a huge vanilla fan, but I mean, it's not going to deter me from trying something. So, uh, Julieta. Spelled with a G-U. I believe that's uh, Italian. G-I, I'm sorry, G-I-U-L-I-E-T-T-A. Julieta. Nice. Today's shirt has a succulent skull in it because there's succulents coming out of the top like a planter. I have a couple of succulents. I mean, they're, they're fun to look at and they're very easy to take care of. Um, not wearing a headband because although I do not currently have a headache, I had been bordering on one for hours. Also not wearing any pearls because I just don't feel like it today. But I want to take this opportunity to give a little shout out. Uh, one of my dear friends, one of several dear friends from my Sims universe, Simstagram universe, uh, has been hanging out and watching some of my videos. And I'm like honored. And she even said that she's been watching them and they're helping her to relax. And she's not the first person to tell me that my videos somehow mysteriously have a calming effect on people, which is great because I am not calm. <laughs> but if this vid if my videos are helping anybody do anything at this point, I'm glad. So my friend, her uh, screen name or username or YouTube name is Sunny Dynacat. I'll be sure to link that down in the description as well and I asked her from the lip glosses from the Estee was it Estee Lauder yeah the Estee Lauder lip glosses that I showed which one she wanted me to try and she said absolutely the purple one so here we are for my friend Sunny Dynacat from the Simstagram universe oh my god <laughs> who has now crossed over to the YouTube side or at least my YouTube side she has her own uh, gaming content I'm going to go ahead and that looks like a paintbrush. That looks like a damn paintbrush. It is a paintbrush. Smell and taste, I'm going to give it like a six. It's not terribly offending, but it's noticeable. Especially the, the uh, taste of it, rather. Um, product consistency. It goes on very smooth. It's very pleasant. It's a little bit sticky and a little bit hefty. I don't know. I'll give it a, I guess I'm doing a scale now. I'll give it a five. <laughs> In terms of application, I'm giving that a, a two. Because I don't want to be rude, but... The brush was especially stiff and hard to move. I wonder if it needs to be broken in. It doesn't need to be shaken or anything. It's fairly thick, but color for a gloss, a solid 9.5. Does it look purple? I can't tell. Colors are always off here, but thanks, Sunny. Now I'm going to show you five lip products I got from everybody's love to hate Jeffree Star. Um, I bought two things because there was a $6 sale and then they had, I guess, the last of the $3 mystery bags or whatever. And I went up getting three different products, which is exciting. So I went out of my way to purchase the Red Affair Lip um, Velvet Trap. And that is a brighter red than most of what I have. Actually, um, I think it's going to be pretty pretty uh, comparable to that red NARS liquid lip I had in the last video, just judging by where I see from here. And then I also purchased a Supreme Gloss, which is a full pigment lip gloss called Fucking Freak. Practically black. 
his lip products strike me down if I'm wrong here usually smell pretty good uh-huh it smells like cookies it's so weird it just smells like cookies yeah that's pretty darn black I wanted to have a different uh, dark lip option I have the purple and the, the bluish hues and now I want to try something that's black now if you speak to an artist Black is either the presence of all or the absence of all color. I'm not getting in on that debate. There's two different ways to look at it. The first mystery surprise is another Velvet Trap lipstick in charming a shade called Grave Digger. Dark chocolate, um, almost gray, grayish brown shade. I'm really pushing the limits of Babs's theory here. Just saying. And the next one is Velour Liquid Lipstick in Christmas Cookie. I think this is the one that doesn't smell good. Yep. There's a drying, you know what? It's not gonna smell good because there's a drying agent involved. You have to shake it up to incorporate all the ingredients and you paint it on and you let it dry because it then dries and it coats your lips. But it has to have some kind of drying accelerant in it. This is the Christmas cookie shade. It's a nice nude. I'm pretty confident I can pull that one off. And then the last one is another Supreme Gloss Full Pigment in Watermelon Soda. Pink! It's so pretty! I don't know what it's coming across on your end, but it's definitely pink on mine. Cookies. <laughs> it all smells like cookies. That's exciting. I got six things from ColourPop because they were also having a large sale and it was on lippies. How about this Barbie Malibu Sunset Lip Duo? There you are. Got, I believe it's a liner and a lipstick, if I'm correct here. I am correct. It's the liner. This very cool, very chic, see-through lipstick I mean I really didn't have to do that did I because you could it's all the way through see-through it's very magenta y it's more pink than I'm used to but it's something I'm excited to try then we have three fresh kips ki fresh kiss let's try that again oh my god fresh kiss lip lacquers yeah, try that three times fast. Now, I had heard all of these have kind of a sweet chocolatey smell to them, so we'll see. The first one is La Vida Mocha. Clever. So there's the product. Oh, it indeed smells like a chocolate bar. Look at that. Very seasonably apropos, I feel. The browns and the neutrals. The next one is macadamia there we can see it's a little lighter mm. and actually i don't know if it's a different smell or if it's just the psychology of the colors smells more nutty is that a thing and the last one is fudge yeah fudge yeah that's a bit darker i think this is actually the yeah this is the darkest one fudge yeah is the darkest one smells like cocoa. I don't know. They're playing psychological games, but they all smell absolutely delicious. I have one cream luxe lipstick in double espresso. Uh, I did actually use it once. I swiped it across my mouth when I was running out the door to go vote the other day and it worked. I didn't even look in the mirror. I just put it on and went, oh god, it's dark and I'm gonna have a weird line and I didn't. It worked out well. But the funny thing is, it doesn't really have a taste to it, but it has a smell. I I'm, I love all these products that smell nice. It's, it's an added feature. Uh, but I sniffed it and it transported me right back to middle school when I had this one stick of Wet n Wild, like 79 cent lipstick from the drugstore from Wet n Wild. It was horrible. It was like paste, like waxy paste, but it smelled and tasted like chocolate. So 
my fat ass would put it on and lick my lips and put it on and lick my lips and it'd keep going back and forth and then wondering why at the end of the day my lips hurt so bad my lips hurt so bad <laughs> they got all chapped from all this excessive licking and it was my own fault but it was really funny and it just it made me chuckle about this stupid 79 cent wet and wild lipstick that i had that my mother didn't even know about because aha uh -huh, i was not allowed to wear makeup in middle school and the last color pop or should i say fourth ray is this key lime lip balm maybe there you go ignore my crappy nails i still haven't done them and they're all falling apart but anyway it's um oh that okay that goes pretty quick it's it's the balm it's not the scrub i believe i have the scrub someplace else just like my trusty beloved strawberry lip scrub which is also fourth ray i thought they were a color pop but now fourth ray is um the skincare end of it i guess they're counting lip balms and lip scrubs as part of their skincare line all right whatever i mean it smells mm, like like lime cake it smells like lime cake it doesn't quite smell like a lime the fruit but it smells like a lime cake and that's awesome because i like lime key lime pie is one of my favorites and of course urban decay of course i just really like urban decay products and there was 50 percent off on a palette that everybody's making fun of but i wanted it because i'm extra and the first thing i got was a sample of this 24 7 glide on eye pencil they have quite a few 37 different shades of eyeliner i did not know that that's awesome creamy award-winning award-winning why don't people denote what these awards are our award uh, anyway creamy award-winning waterproof our award-winning waterproof 24 7 eye pencil glides on stays creamy for blending and will not budge and the shade range is insane, I would say so. Crazy, vivid, brights, shimmering, metallics, wear anywhere neutrals, dark, smoky hues. Choose from every texture imaginable, from micro sparkle to matte. If these pencils don't satiate your color lust, nothing will. But yeah, I have I have one of these that I started using months ago. It's a regular sharpen. I mean, this is a good amount of eyeliner pencil to put in a, in a give it in a giveaway in a in a gimme that's good i went ahead and got myself the makeup skin up power up cactus flower water hydrating vitamin c all nighter long lasting makeup setting spray yes the box says all of that nice bright yellowy orange bottle of all nighter to add to, to the collection uh, I want to see what it smells like. Yeah, it de I'm definitely getting citrus. I don't know about it. Well, vitamin C is the first thing listed here. I don't know about cactus flower water. But I definitely got hit with citrus, which is nice. Okay, then we have two Vice lip products. The first one is the High Impact Vegan Lipstick in the shade Callback. And I'm assuming that says cream because it's a creamy consistency. This will be the third Vice High Impact Lipstick shade that I have. And it's like a brown red. Again, for the season. All right, and the other Vice lip product I have is the Plumping Shine Balm in Name Drop. It's almost like orangey and now for the palette it was 50 percent off and i think that happened because i it didn't sell too well and i can understand why but i couldn't say no also because my husband is actually getting into the show not me so much i just i'm not into the whole marvel universe superhero thing it's just really not my style but the urban decay she hulk palette Oh my god. This is a blurb. Transform your look and feel larger than life with the Urban Decay Marvel Studios She-Hulk Eyeshadow Palette. 
this all new limited edition 13 pan palette tells the punchy story of Jennifer Walters, a talented, ambitious lawyer who is trying to balance it all just like everyone else, dot, 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 except her life is complicated by She Hulk like superpowers. She never asked for the Urban Decay. Marvel Studios She Hulk eyeshadow palette contains silky yet strong, blendable mattes, super intense sparkles, shifty shimmers, and an extra large transformative iconic green shade in the center of our sleek Hulk sized palette. Break through with endless ways to amplify your gamma glow. The Urban Decay Marvel Studios She Hulk eyeshadow palette is just smashing. I should write for them. I know I don't speak very eloquently when I'm doing these videos and I'm all over the place, but I'm also a writer. Huh. Ask Sunny <laughs> or ask any of my friends who read my story, which I'm not ready to make public yet. Uh, I feel like I can, I can write and maybe I should write these for them because wow. But this is the palette. It's kind of neat. Colors are kind of neat. And it's got a holographic picture at the top. That's neat. And the colors are really not that bad, to be honest with you. They're really not. The shades are courtroom, realness, case closed, gamma glow, take a stand, no further questions, thunderclap. My voice, crushing it, brains and brawn, trademark this, WeHo Warrior, super suit up. And then, in the middle, the big Hulk out. I can, you know what, people make fun, but I can do something with this. I think anybody could make something out of this if they're creative enough. I guess it just got panned, I don't know, because the show wasn't doing it. I, enough people watch it, though. I don't, I'm not making judgments. It's not my genre, but 50% off, I mean, you can't go wrong. I just went back to the beginning, or beginning-ish, to double check on the color, and it has lost a little of its shimmer and a little of its saturation, but honestly, with all the talking I'm doing and the drinking I'm doing in between, I gotta say, this is a pretty impressive lip gloss, like, highly pigmented lip gloss, but okay, Estee Lauder, your applicator sucks, your formula is a little, um, bulky, I guess, but this is impressive. Well, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for coming and hanging out as always. Please feel free to leave me a like. I love the comment section as always. And if you aren't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Do the thing. Make sure you're taking care of yourselves, getting all of that H2O, slathering on that SPF and having the day that you deserve, which I hope is fabulous. Bye.